Well, I think the fact that uh, she has broken the glass ceiling in North America, the first head of state to be a woman, is, is very significant for a country that does have that legacy and those challenges. But however, the political system for a long time now has been increasing uh, gender parity when it comes to uh, Congress and, and, and politics. But certainly this is an important moment. Now, obviously, the challenge in a country that is racked by domestic violence, by femicides, um, just today, after uh, Claudia Sheinbaum was elected, a woman mayor uh, in one of the violent states in Mexico was murdered. Um, she will have to walk the walk besides talking the talk. Uh, I think she has said on the campaign trail that she will double down on a lot of the policies that López Obrador has implemented. In many ways, the election on Sunday was a referendum on the popularity of those programs and that agenda. And I think she will basically stick to that. There's a big question mark, of course, as to someone who looms so large on the political landscape in Mexico, outgoing President López Obrador, whether she will be able to wean herself from his shadow and the control that he will have over the party apparatus up and down the country. Um, so so th there is, there is, I think, there are lots who are questioning how quickly will she become her own woman and fully control the reins of presidential power once she's sworn in on October the 1st.